Edward and Trevor. Just beyond the station before Gordon's Hill, there is a scrapyard full of rusty vehicles and machinery. Engines often brought old cars and machinery there to be broken up. Then they take the pieces to the steelworks, where they are melted down and used again. One day, when Edward brought some trucks to the scrapyard, he saw a black and orange traction engine there. Hello, said Edward. I'm Edward. I'm Trevor, said the traction engine sadly. What are you doing here? asked Edward curiously. They're going to break me up next week, said Trevor. But you're not broken and rusty, remarked Edward. That's what Jem, my driver, said, shied Trevor. He said all I need is some paint, polish, and oil to be as good as new. But my master doesn't want me. He says I'm old-fashioned. Edward snorted. People in engines say I'm old-fashioned, but it doesn't matter. Sir Topham Hatt says I'm a useful engine. Jem says that about me, shed Trevor, with a slight smile. Sometimes I feel ill, but I don't give up like a tractor would. I struggle on and finish the job if I can. I've hardly ever broken down in my life. What work did you do? asked Edward as his trucks were loaded with metal pieces. My master would send us from farm to farm, shed Trevor. We threshed corn and wheat, hauled logs and bowsers, sawed timber and drywall, crushed rocks and glass bottles, lots of things. We made friends at all the farms. The children loved to see us. They'd come and watch us work. Sometimes Jemra would give some of the children rides. Trevor shot his eyes as he remembered. I like children, he said simply. It was time for Edward to go. Broken up, he clanked. What a shame. I must help Trevor. I must. Edward had plenty of friends, many of whom liked engines. But he couldn't think of anyone who would have room for a traction engine at home. What a shame, he hissed as he made his delivery to the steelworks. He spent the rest of the day thinking hard as he took his passenger train across the island. He soon found himself back at the station beyond Gordon's Hill. And there on the platform was the very Persian. Why didn't I think of him before? Whistled Edward as he stopped at the station. Morning, Charlie. Morning, Sid, said the vicar. Morning, Edward. You look upset. I am reverence, said Edward. There's a traction engine in the scrapyard. He's to be broken up next week. Do save him, sir. You have room, sir. I certainly have room, said the vicar, but I don't need a traction engine. You have an orchard in the vicarage, sir. He could deliver your apples to market, sir, Edward pleaded. We'll see, said the vicar, and he boarded Edward's train. When Saturday came, Trevor was surprised to see Jem Cole arrive at the scrapyard. The vicar is coming to see you, he smiled at Trevor. Do you think he'll buy me? asked Trevor hopefully. He will when I've cleaned you up a bit and lit your fire, said Jem. The vicar and his two sons arrived that evening. Trevor was ready and blowing off steam. He hadn't felt so happy in months. All right, Trevor, show your paces, said Jem. The vicar watched as Trevor chuffered about the yard. The vicar's sons were excited. Do buy him, Daddy, they pleaded. The vicar nodded as he watched Trevor pace around. Might I have a go? he asked. He climbed up alongside Jem and took a turn driving him around the yard. Later, he went into the office. He came out minutes later. I got him cheap, Jem, he smiled. Dirt cheap. Do you hear that, Trevor? cried Jem. You live at the vicarage now. Thank you, sirs, whistled Trevor happily. Will you drive him to the orchard for me, please? The vicar asked Jem. And take these two scallywags with you, won't you? They won't want to come riding the car when we've got a traction engine. Now Trevor lives and works in the vicarage orchard. His paint is spotless and his brass shines like gold. He takes freshly picked apples to market. And he sometimes sees Edward as he makes his deliveries. He sells firewood in winter. And sometimes Jem borrows him whenever a tractor fails. Trevor likes doing his old jobs. But his happiest day is the church fete. With a smartly painted wooden egg cart and tow, he chuffers around the orchard giving rides to prisoners. Sometimes Jem lets children ride with him on the manstand. This makes Trevor happiest of all.